Hi, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're gonna to make muffin tin omelets. And I hesitate to call this a recipe. It's really more of just some guidance. I will link a recipe when I post the video, but really um, the sky's the limit on this. Um, there's, you know, just kind of a basic recipe that you follow for the egg mixture, but then what you put in it is really up to you. Um, and I will tell you that I am only making half of the recipe today because I don't want to have 12 egg muffins, although they do, um, they do store very nicely in the fridge. Um, you can keep them four or five days in the fridge, warm them up each morning. Um, you can even freeze them uh, for up to a month, and then you just wrap them in a damp paper towel and microwave them for about 60 seconds. But let's get started. So I have four large eggs. One thing I don't want to add to the muffin tin omelets is crunchy. Egg shell. Yeah, don't want it crunchy. And um, in this case, a quarter cup of milk because again, I'm only making half the recipe. And salt and pepper to taste. Um, whatever you like. I like a little bit more pepper in my eggs, so I'm going to go a little bit more with that and just a little dash of salt. Gonna whisk those up. All right, looks good. Looks good. All right, then we're gonna go and work on the fillings of our muffin tin omelets. We'll start by spraying the muffin tin well with cooking spray. If you have uh, the silicone cupcake liners, you could use those. I wouldn't recommend using the paper liners though. Um, it, I think that they would get too soaked by the eggs. So um, just make sure if you're not using any kind of liners that it is um, very well sprayed so they don't stick. Um, and the recipe that I'm gonna link actually is for a broccoli, ham, and cheddar. Um, muffin tin omelet. So I'll start out with some broccoli. This is just some frozen broccoli that um, I defrosted and squeezed all the water out. You don't want your um, your omelets to be too wet. So I'm just gonna pretty roughly chop that up. Doesn't have to be perfect. Um, then we're just gonna put half, divide it in about half, because um, I'm gonna make three different varieties for six total. So variety one is gonna be the broccoli, ham, and cheddar. So we've got some broccoli in there. And then this is just deli ham, just a slice of deli ham. Um, if you have leftover holiday ham in your freezer, you could use that as well. Just a nice kind of rough slice dice there again half and half um, Canadian bacon would also work for this one too um, smoked turkey I think would be tasty really like you said it you know whatever you have in the fridge um, honestly bacon sausage whatever you like so we got that and then this is just a actually this is a Mexican blend cheese, so it's a four cheese blend. Just gonna do half and half if you like, just cheddar, American, Kojak, Pepper Jack, whatever you like. The next one we're gonna do is a mushroom Swiss and chive. These are fresh mushrooms, sliced mushrooms. Um, again, we're just gonna give them a rough chop so they'll fit in the in the muffin tin you could use canned mushrooms too um, if that's what you have just want to make sure that 
to give them a, a good chop so that they'll fit in your muffin tin. shredded Swiss that I just shredded off the black. Um, it's going to go in there. Uh, spinach would be really good, I think, with the, the mushroom and Swiss as well. Or even broccoli. You could do broccoli, mushroom, and Swiss too. That would be pretty tasty. And a little shake of chives in each one. Okay, and then the last one is going to be, um, got some great tomatoes here going to slice each one of them in half. And put three halves in each muffin tin. And we've got some Parmesan cheese here for the tomato. Feta cheese would be good too, or mozzarella. This is just shredded parm and a little bit of basil, dried basil. Um, if you have fresh basil, you could definitely uh, do a little chiffonade of that, and that would be lovely as well. Gonna mix the egg up again. Gonna pour them a little, a little low to start to make sure that I have it all in there. I have enough to make them all and then I can always top them off at the end if I need to. And these are going to puff up a little bit while they're baking and then they will um, actually kind of fall down a little bit when they're done but that's all right. So these are going to go in an oven that's been preheating at 325 for 20 to 25 minutes. Um, like I said, they'll puff up. You'll be able to see that they're dry on the top and that's when we'll take them out and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. And I took these out of the oven about five minutes ago. And as you can see, it's very obvious which ones are which. Come on in here, Bradley. We've got ham, broccoli, and cheddar, mushroom, Swiss, and chive, and the tomato, parmesan, and basil. And I'm going to try... Tomato, a parmesan, and basil. Nope. Mushroom, Darn. Swiss, and chive for me today. You can have one of these later. If you uh, want. I don't like eggs. <laughs> so a serving of these, um, a serving size would be two of these. And that comes in right about 160 calories, depending on what you put in them, um, and about 15 grams of protein. So um, these are great to get you started in the morning, a good protein heavy breakfast, um, give you lots of, of good long lasting energy for the day. Um, if you're worried about your cholesterol, if you don't want to eat all of these eggs, you can use egg beaters, you could use just egg whites. The result is going to be the same. Delicious. And it's still really hot, even though it's been sitting there for a few minutes, but I'm going in. Daring today, aren't we? I am daring today. I like to live dangerously. Supposedly. It's really good. Um, like I said, the sky's the limit really with what you're putting in these. Whatever fresh veggies you have in the fridge, um, whatever meats you have, like I said, sausage, bacon, ham, um, pepperoni, salami, um, it's really whatever you want to do. Um, so, um, and again, like I said, keep these in the fridge for four or five days. Just zap them in the microwave to warm them up for about 30 seconds. Uh, freeze them for up to a month. Wrap them in a damp paper towel. Warm them up in the microwave for about a minute. Um, it's a great breakfast, lunch, brunch, uh, with some fresh fruit. Um, a salad for brunch or lunch would be great. Just very versatile. Eggs are good for you, and so are veggies. And I'm gonna finish mine. So I'll see you next time, and take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye.